A lot of people, they think that just by going to a yoga class in the morning, they're having a yogic life, and then they can get in traffic and curse people, or, you know, be mean to their children, or something yeah. like that. So I think there's a little confusion. People yeah. think that just by doing asanas, this is yoga. Mm -hmm. And yoga is much more than that. Consciousness is a big factor. That's a goal, and that's a consciousness in me, is means also. So yogic lifestyles is basically a persistent effort to expand consciousness. That is yogic lifestyle. Now what is consciousness? We are sitting here. Then I sincerely believe that my existence is beyond this body. So everything which I see around, everything which I experience around, that forms part of my being. So I expand my being. I expand my being through these plants, through the mountains here, through the sky. So when this expansion happens, then that duality ends. And goal of a yogi is to reduce this duality and in the end to get away from this duality and live a conscious life which is one with the universal consciousness supreme consciousness so reaching from individual consciousness to supreme consciousness is a goal of a yogi loving each other or loving every living and non-living being is the best means to achieve this consciousness or to raise the consciousness in the western world it is difficult to love everybody because of the competitive nature of the society there or because of the reality pushes of life or because measurable goals of life everything has to be achieved which is measurable in terms of money in terms of hours of work in terms of whatever outcome you measure with so if when it is measurable then it causes or it brings with it the stress and strain. Even in that situation, one should develop the habit of loving and this can be done through the let go attitude. So when situations come, the conflict situations come, then through the various yogic techniques like deep breathing or chanting of Om for a longer time, or closing your eyes and counting the numbers or observing your own breath you should basically respond to the given moment of conflict and reduce the intensity of conflict and then obviously you will realize that love is the only means or love is the only emotion that basically bounces erupts from your mind so that is a sign of a yogi so in a given situation it may happen temporarily that the conflict situation arise but you have to respond through the yogic means and again you have to pass on the message of love then only the supreme consciousness can be reached